guys. So obviously that's where I was kipping last night. Just a British Army basher. And then a uh, US Army sleep bag with a um, bivy bag that attaches to it. And then I've got a roll mat inside the bivy bag between that and the dust bag. And then another roll mat there. And obviously the ground sheet pegged in. That's my new um, sleep system without inflatable roll mats. And to be fair, it is quite comfy. So I had a brilliant night's sleep. I'm in the same pitch I was last time, because if I haven't mentioned, I'm at Camp Bob. And uh, yeah, it was a really good night's kit. Right, so over the stuff in the basher, this is what I brought down. I did have a bag for the food for me stew and obviously my beers, you know, the essentials. But everything else is in here. Uh, so this is my new bug out kit, woodland kit if you like. Um, it's not yet complete, I'm still testing it. But basically what we've got is navigation equipment, catapult and ammo, watering cup um, with some brew kit. Um, that one is fire kit head torch. That one is water purification. And uh, sorry, I've got a saw in there as well. Water purification and something else. But I can't remember. Oh yeah, cordage. Another water bottle and cup. And my um, stove. I just want to see it sticking up there. Uh, Trauma kit, so toilet key, big bandage, shit like that, so stuff you'd need to hand. More a Gorberg, and then a, a roll pouch. So that's my belt kit. Where I've got this on, that sits on perfectly on top of there. And then here yeah, we've got um, first aid kit and wash kit. Um, some trapping kit, uh, fishing kit, and same on that one warm kit and wet kit, cooking kit, round sheet, waterproof bag cover and my uh, gloves that are handling hot stuff. Underneath the lid is all my literature, like books, uh, trapping books, survival books, stuff like that. Um, then in the main compartment of the bag I have my collapsible saw, I have uh, DF4, traps but mainly everything else that's out over there that, all that takes up the rest of that other than the ground sheet because that goes in the top there um, oh yeah and a dry bag of spare clothes and obviously you've got the axe there I do have a take down bow and arrow which will slot down one side but I haven't brought that with me um, I will do a separate video on this in the future once I'm completely happy with it. Like I said, I'm still rejigging it. Obviously, this stuff, yeah, that's just my camera bag and a new lantern, but that's not part of the kit. But I brought it yesterday. Um, <coughs> anyone knows, obviously, I've cleaned it now. I don't know if it's the fuel I'm using or what, but uh, I've got lantern oil for it, but it keeps blacking up within about 20 minutes. And then it's pointless because you can't see the flame. Um, I did get that for like 4 euros in Cyprus a few years ago, so it might just be like that shit. Oh, it might be I'm doing something wrong, so if anybody knows, answers on a postcard, please. This is the main shelter at Bob. Obviously, come at the end of my overnight. Huh? Got my stuff there. See, so, my bag of crap, which I'll take out with me. I said I brought in. Alright, so there was about six of us last night. Sat around the fire. Had a good few uh, bevies, good chat. Yeah, it was good. If you're a member of the North East Bushcraft Group, like, you know, just, uh, just ask them to come down. Just, if there's a member, yeah, they'll let you. Pretty good like that. Really good setup here. Fortunately for me, it's really close to my house as well, so that helps. 
Right guys, thanks for watching. I know it's been a short one, but you know, it was just a last minute overnight, so uh, I'll catch you on the next one.